the next topic we are going to learn is file movement options in azure what is this file movement options so far we have seen there are two tools azure migrate and azure data box was used for large scale data migration that is what we have learned in our previous video so for large scale data migration we saw data box was of 80 terabyte so anything a large scale of data you will be migrating using these two tools in the previous video we have learned now there is also an option for small files for that the tools that are available or the utilities that are available is az copy azure storage explorer and azure file sync what are those azure copy azure storage explorer and azure file sync what are this used for for small files if i ask you what is the tool used for large scale data migration you will say azure migrate engine azure data box and if i ask you what are the tools used for small files you will say az copy azure storage explorer and azure file sync now let's see what is az copy what is this utility or tool is all about az copy is a command line utility remember it is a command line utility you might have worked on command lines on windows command lines is more like that the 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 uh, black love window right you see so az copy is a command line utility to copy blobs or files to copy files you can remember as it is or blob what is the meaning of blob binary large objects that we have learnt in the previous one to copy blobs or files to storage account or from storage account you copy to storage account or copy from storage account to somewhere else so is as a copy is a command line utility used for it using this as a copy you can copy data to the storage account or from the storage account clear next upload files download files copy files between storage accounts what you can do you can upload file download files copy files between storage accounts as a copy can work with other cloud providers to copy the files back and forth between the clouds so back and forth also you can do it as a copy can work with other cloud providers to copy files back and forth between different clouds this is also another important point as a copy synchronize data in one direction not bi directional so what is the meaning of one directional it does not automatically compare changes between the two locations so there is a source there is a destination so i'm going to copy the data from the source and paste it in the destination now if i do that when i migrate the data using as a copy it is one directional that means let's say some modification has been done in the uh, in the uh, destination so it is not going to check anything it's simply going to copy paste you getting in one directional it, it it will not keep both the source and destination synced it is always one directional remember this important point on as a copy the second option is azure storage explorer previously what we have seen as a copy now the second one is azure storage explorer it is a stand alone application the previous one was a command line interface it was a cli this is a stand alone application so what is storage explorer it is a stand alone application what is az copy it is a cli for file movement so when it is application it will have a graphical interface to move files and command line you have to write commands to move files so here it is a graphical interface it works on windows linux and mac os operating systems and behind the scene it uses az copy in the back end to perform all of the file movement tasks the third file movement option is azure file sync previously we have learned the az copy was one directional that means it makes your azure storage explorer because this uses your az copy and this also one directional now with azure file sync this is a bi directional once you install azure file sync 
your files will be bi-directionally synced from your local windows server to azure storage account and from your azure storage account to local windows server so it is a bi-directionally synced you can use any protocol smb server message block nfs network file share ftp file transfer protocol and s stands for secure so you can use multiple different protocols with the azure file sync now it's time to go through the knowledge check let's read the very first question which tool automatically keeps files between an on-premises windows server and an azure cloud environment updated so it is saying on-premise local windows server and azure cloud just now we learned which is azure file sync second one which storage redundancy option provides the highest degree of durability with 16 nines of durability now 16 nines means zero zone redundant storage which azure storage service supports big data analytics as well handling text and binary data so blob stands for binary large objects so this is the answer that we have already learned so let me submit the answers so you can see all the answers are correct okay azure file sync maintains a bi-directional synchronization of files between your on-premise and cloud windows server geo redundant storage grc grs known as and geo zone redundant storage gzrs both provide 16 nines of durability azure blobs is a massively scalable object store for text and binary data azure blobs also includes support for big data analytics through data lake storage gen 2 okay let me hit on next okay so there is a summary you can quickly go through so we have learned about azure storage services storage tires redundancy options all of these things we have gone through so i'm going to hit on complete module okay so you can see this module is now completed for me so what is next to learn let's see that also so now you can see this this module describe azure storage services is complete let me click on browse so in the microsoft azure fundamentals describe azure architecture and services we have completed three modules uh, uh, describe the core architectural component of azure describe azure compute and networking services and then describe azure storage services these three are completed the next one is describe the seventh module it will be describe azure identity access and security and here are the topics we will cover one by one to make it more easier